I am here with Jed Brophy. Jed, how are you doing? I'm really good, thanks, Tyler. Now, you are known to uh, have been collaborating with Peter Jackson in a few movies. What's he like as a director? He's, um, he's pretty much the same as he was when he first started. He's a very organic director. He's very generous. But he does have a vision in his head, and he gets that vision on film. So he's very uh, determined to try and make the film that he wants to make. And um, he employs people that get that and uh, try to facilitate getting his vision up on screen. Now, the Hobbit um, was... Uh well known for having their production diaries. Was it weird having um, cameras following you around the set even when you're not filming the movie? Yeah, it's something that you kind of have to get um, used to these days. I think it's becoming more and more what the fans want to see. They want to see the, the process of what happens behind the scene and a bit more levity. There's a bit more fun that happens there. And You know, there were people that didn't like doing it and there were people that are a bit resistant, but you just you get you get so used to it at the end of three years there are so many cameras on set anyway that's what's another two you know but yeah I mean I, I personally enjoy telling the behind the scenes stories I think um, that that does help to build your fan base overseas so it's a good thing yeah and what was it like acting in front of the red camera no different than acting in front of a film camera it's just a bit quicker because if you don't like it you can just roll back and actually go over the top of it so it saves a lot of time in one respect filming in 3D actually takes a lot more time you have to be a lot more concerned with what's happening in the background because 3D shows everything you can't get away with having a bunch of extras in the background picking their nose because it shows up so um, you know th there's a bit of give and take it's quicker digitally shooting on digital but it is a bit slower shooting in 3D so what you lose in one you gain in the other what was going through your head when you saw yourself in 3D for the first time? It's kind of weird actually, um, it does take a bit of getting used to but because the monitors are all in 3D and we got to watch it through the glasses you, you quickly get used to it. Um, I actually think because it's the way of the future I, we just need to get used to it now and stop worrying about going backwards, we need to keep going forwards. Um, the production companies and the studios want to shoot in 3D. Um, and so we just have to, to bite the bullet and go, OK, that's the way it is. I mean, it's no different to meeting you in real life, really. What I love about Peter Jackson is he doesn't make it gimmicky. It's not just about having spears flying at you out of camera. Because everything's in 3D, you get used to it very quickly, and then, you know, it's got a lot more comfort to it. So out of all of the movies that you've worked on with Peter, which would have... Which is your favourite movie that you've worked it's on? It's hard to go past Brain Dead, only because it was my first, and also because we're all kind of on the same page. We're all young, budding film pr practitioners who didn't really realise where it would get to. I don't think Peter ever imagined that he would be making blockbuster films when we made that film. You know, it was a very small cast, a very small crew. We're all kind of on the same page. So I, I, still, I still hold that film very dear to my heart because it was the beginning of my 22-year relationship working with Peter. So I feel incredibly privileged to be on that film, and it was hilariously funny.